Well, some things never change, and uh, it was a fun hunt tonight. I don't even know it was a whopping 45 minutes. I seen actually a pretty good buck, so nothing I want to shoot. But um, I just wanted to let you all know, or thank you all for uh, putting up a little bit of patience with me. I'm not planning on doing live feeds two, three, four times a day by any means. Um, I do my best to do one every day just to keep track of what's happening, what my plans are, what, I don't know, what I think maybe in your area, if you're in a similar area, which if you're in the Midwest, most of the time you're facing the same type of stuff. So um, just a short wrap up on it, went uh, down along the corn rows, just like I said I was, and at the end of there I, I came out, actually blew a couple does out of the corn, um, which is always a possibility, but you gotta get in there somehow. And then uh, after I got down a little bit, I had a pretty good buck walk out, 10, maybe a 150 kind of buck, and uh, was hoping there were some does with them. So next time I'll be sure to figure out a rig, and I'm going to go straight to Walmart after this, probably and uh, figure out something where I can read that camera up so you guys can see it. So um, please leave me some comments whenever you get the chance, uh, share my page, and uh, as always, you know, make sure you like the Rod White page, one of them, I'll share them with the other one or try to, and I think hopefully there's a little migration process happening right now. I've requested like 15 times. So I hope uh, you guys enjoy everything that you see, and uh, you can send me a private message, you can leave a message on here and just let me know if there's anything special you want to see or want to learn um this is a, like i said was a doe mission today and that's pretty much it so and to find out where the hunters are that's part of the program but i'll do a uh, more intensive post on that later on because mapping out where other hunters are you're not going to know until you get around and look even if you have tree stands up you don't know who's using what but Generally, if you find stands in most areas where you know there's deer commonly, and in this piece, a lot of people hunt it. I mean, like a lot. So there's also a lot of homes not very far. So more than likely, they're coming from one specific area, um, and then they roll across and climb in their stands. Because when I got to the edge of the timber there and made my setup basically for the evening because the wind stopped, which if you've ground on it at all for whitetails, if the wind stops, you stop pretty much so I got all the way down to where I wanted to turned around and um, there was a couple guys whispering to each other in a tree stand so I hope it wasn't a son and his um, dad but uh, it makes me think a little bit about what's fair and what's not fair whenever you're hunting public lands and other people are hunting what's what's ethical what's not ethical because I've been in that situation before where people have come in and uh, ruined hunts lots of times on public land but for me, that's just the gig. That's how public land works. So, um, and like I said, this isn't public land, just a private piece that a lot of people have access to. So I think uh, I'll probably start, well not think, I'll probably go ahead and map out some of that stuff and kind of show you on a, on a map that's pretty similar. I'm not gonna show you exactly where everything's at because those people will be really upset at me. I don't care much because I usually hunt a few times that I'm out on places like this, but I wanna preserve whatever I can for the people that are there, so. Leave me some message, shoot them on over. I'm going to do my best to uh, put some meat on the table for a friend who's coming over. And uh, like I said, I promise I won't annoy you with all these live feeds. But uh, I do thank you for having the patience while I check out to make sure they're all going where they're supposed to. From Facebook to YouTube to whatever the mapping process is. I'm way better at mapping public land hunters, and heavily hunted private land hunters than what I am uh, social media, that's for sure. So good luck to everybody if you're hunting in the morning and uh, if you're hunting throughout the evenings. I know a lot of you are anxious to get out there. Stay out of the timber though. Good plan. Because if you were in the plan, in the timber, in your plan, wouldn't have worked tonight on that big, that big deer that walked out. So get it done, whoever that was, and good luck to you. So peace out.